Hello Autodesk people, my name is Rodney Grabinski of Autodesk. I'm an engineering technical specialist based out of Southern California. And the video you're about to see is Revit MEP 2009 Content and Family. Now, what I want to do is create an exhaust system. First thing I'm going to do is use Autodesk Seek. Here's the URL. This is available to you even though it's still in beta. And I'm going to search in the public domain for an inline can. You may find manufacturer's content that you need out here, and you can download it. The second place I'm going to look is straight out of the box content in your library. So for the air terminal, the exhaust grill, I'm going to go to the mechanical components, air side components, and take a look at air terminal devices. This is all the content available to you out of the box in Revit MEP 2009. I'm going to use the exhaust grill here and insert this into my project. Now what I'm going to find is that the parameters of this exhaust grill aren't what I need. So I'm going to modify it. I'm going to change this family. First thing I'm going to do is edit it. I'm going to make a duplicate and I may want to rename it depending on how I want to manage families in my project, whether by instance or globally. Now I'm going to change the connector here to be a 12 inch diameter. So what I'm going to do is edit the family now that I've renamed it. And there you can see that's the square connector in the out of the box content. I'm going to go ahead and make a change that. I'm going to make it to round. I'm going to change this to be a 6 inch radius. There you'll see that the connector size is now changed to be round. I'm going to go ahead and load that into my project now. So okay, I've taken that stock content. Now for the custom content, new from scratch for the inline fan, I'm going to start a new family. And I'm going to use the templates that we give you. And I'm going to use the standard mechanical equipment template. Now the first thing I need to do is start to create the geometry of that content object, that inline fan. I'm going to sketch out the dimensions that I have off of the cut sheet. And once I get those set, then I want to modify the extrusion height. So I'm going to go to the element properties of that sketch, and I'm going to change the extrusion to be the height that I need it to based on the cut sheet. Then the next thing I want to do is add the electrical connector, the little J-box on the side of it. So again, I'm going to use the solid extrusion. And I'm just going to sketch in here that J-box on the side of it. And again, I'm going to have to modify the extrusion properties to set where I want that box to start and stop. And again, all I'm doing here is creating that 3D geometry of the object. I'm going to set these to where I want it. Let's finish that. Okay, now let's take a look at what this looks like in 3D. So this is looking like the fan that I'm going to have, but I need the connectors. So I'm going to add the duct connectors on the inlet and the outlet side. And let's just say for sake of argument, on the inlet side, I'm going to use a round connector exactly to match my grill. And here's in the element properties of that connector, all the information that I want to control about the flow direction, the air type, and uh, CFM capacity of the piece of equipment here. But what I want to focus on right now is that round connector. Again, I'm going to make that match using a 6 inch radius. And then on the uh, outlet side, I'm going to just keep that as a square connector, but I am going to change all the uh, mechanical parameters of that connector. Okay. The last connector I need is that electrical connector, so let me go ahead and use the electrical connector tool. Add that in there and go to the element properties of that connector. And now I can add in the same information that I would get off the manufacturer's catalog cut sheet, so far as the load, the voltage, um, that kind of information. Okay, so I've got everything I need here. I've got the geometry, I've got the uh, connectors, but the last thing I need are some parameters. I'm going to change this family type to be an inline fan. And if I want to, I can add parameter information. I can create new parameters and add any kind of parameter that I want in there. Right now I'm just going to put in the manufacturer data. And I'm going to change the name of this family type to be inline fan as well. 
So there I go. I've created a new family with all the connectors, all the physical geometry, and the name that I want it to. I'm going to save it, load it into my project. There we go. We've got our inline fan. Let's go ahead and place that in the room. And then let's take a look uh, at the properties of that new family. So you'll see that I want to set the elevation there, obviously. And then there's the manufacturer information or any other parameter that I would have added. I can schedule that now. Last thing I need to do is connect this all together with some ductwork. So I'm going to use the duct connector tool. And you see that? There's the connector, that 12 inch round connector. I'm going to connect to that using the default ductwork. And I'm going to connect to that exhaust grill. Remember, it used to be rectangular. Now it's a round connector. We modified that part. And on our custom content on the outlet side, I'm going to connect to that. I'm going to switch over to use some rectangular ductwork so that I don't have a transition spread around. I'm just going to run this out the building. In reality, I'd create a louver family and connect it to a louver. It's good for now. So let's take a look at what we've got here. I've created a new family and I've modified an existing family. I'm going to take a shot of the inside of this room. So you can see here, we've got that inline fan, that custom content that we created with the connectors. We've got that exhaust grill stock content that we modified to have a round connector. This looks good. Three things to remember. Search for your content in the library. You can use Autodesk Seek to find publicly available families and keep your family simple. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Rodney Grabinski and the video you just saw is Revit MEP 2009 Content and Family.